Hey guys, this is Two Finger here. I'm just going to go over a little quick rundown on my uh, bug out bag. I was going to take some stuff out to lighten it up, and I figured I'd show you what all I did have. It's my Remington bag. Thinking about changing bags soon. This one does all right, but it uh, doesn't ride right on my back, and the weight I've got in it. It just, I don't think it would last real long. So I'm thinking about switching to a frame type bag. But anyway, I, I plan on finding a new one. Over here we've got a good headlamp, a small LED flashlight, a hand crank flashlight. We've got some earplugs bag full of batteries that'll go with my little flashlights and my set of walkie talkies that I have here got a whistle there that's got waterproof matches inside of it got a watch and an extra pair of reading glasses got several little knives there multi-tool Got a saw, small cook kit with some sporks, toilet paper. Got a pretty nice first aid kit. I'll make another video on that, showing you the contents of that. Got some energy drink mix, folding saw. Got a folding or a diamond sharpener coarse and fine got some twine zip ties got this little box that I keep cotton in I've got the holes in the top where I can make char cloth in comes in real handy got two hanks of paracord here I've got a 50 foot hank and a 75 foot small shovel I've got the Eton hand crank solar powered flashlight radio LED flashlight on it picks up weather bands got a small gun cleaning kit with patches in there air filter or dust mask really sunscreen wet ones hand wipes got the old survival book nice little fishing kit here two sides lots of small weights worms and hooks a couple little bobbers got a spool of fishing line I decided to put the whole spool in there because there's a lot of other uses for that as well other than just fishing Got some body warmers, three little cheap ponchos, a bag of bags, just Ziploc bags, quart size I believe. This is my magazine reloader for my 40 caliber XDM. It just makes it so much easier to reload them 16 round mags. Got some little wire here that could be used for snare wire real thin floral type a little p38 can opener two styles of compasses one for the maps and the lincetic i believe that's the correct way to say it. got a nice pair of leather gloves here this is about a two by six piece of tin foil I've got folded up just for several different uses for that. Four emergency candles, notepad, pen and pencil, deck of cards. I've got several fire options here. I've got a bag full of dryer lint, Zippo, and some Zippo fluid. We've got waterproof matches. 
I've got a lighter. I've got another lighter inside the cook set over there. Got two magnesium fire starters. One of them's lost the little rod that goes in it, but it still works real well. It's always good to have a backup one. This water bottle has a filter in the top. It's a Bota Outback. It has a water filter in the top. Supposedly you can drink straight out of a pond or whatever. I'll probably still purify it somehow if I ever get to that point. Anyway, I think it's all here. That's just a quick rundown of it. Some of it I'm going to thin out. Try to make a little bit lighter, get rid of some of the weight. Uh, like I said, next video I'll go over first aid kit. I don't have my gun in here right now. I would be carrying it. I plan on putting some ammo in here. Uh, that's all I can think of now. Like I said, I'll, once I go through it, I'll probably make another one, another film to uh, show what I'll put back in it. This is a lot of stuff. A lot of it I don't want to get rid of, but some of it I think I can thin out. And I, I still think there's a few things that I don't have that I do need. Anyway, I'll let you know more about the first aid kit. There's a lot of things in there I'd like to cover. Anyway, uh, until next time, it's Two Finger. See ya.